What's up, everybody? It's project day. Well, not really project. Prestige needs an oil change. Um, things you'll need. You'll need seven quarts of uh, oil. Uh, this is 5W20. I use the uh, Motorcraft because it's the OEM for Ford. You'll need seven of these. You'll need a new filter. Um, this is the Motorcraft filter. I just go with the OEM. Um, whatever spec. This is an FL8020S. Uh, you'll need a oil filter wrench. Um, a funnel. Um, and I use this funnel because I'll show you why once we get under there. And then uh, a 17 millimeter socket to undo the oil plug. And one other special tool you'll need is this fancy uh, filler here. What's special about this filler is it turns on and off. So you can connect it right to your oil turn it up and then turn it on so it doesn't make a mess everywhere and I'll show you why you need this when we get to that point so let's hop under the RV hey fancy seeing you under here uh, oh we're gonna change the oil okay sorry about that so look at this here's the uh, the drain plug and right underneath it's the axle so if you just open that drain plug and stuck your bucket under here, the oil will hit this axle and go everywhere. So I came up with this little board that slides in right here. And then, and then we got this funnel here with this, this back cut on it. It's called a super multi-purpose funnel. We'll link it down for you. But I just drilled a hole in this board and then it sets just like that. And so you just scoot it up to it and it stays right there and it'll catch all the oil as it comes out. It makes it kind of nice. But we got to loosen this uh, this up here. So I'm going to get it so I can access it, and it to keep it from making a mess. So I'll get it set up here. Get my, my wrench. Get my wrench up here, 17 millimeter. that in there and see if I can do this without getting oil everywhere on myself. Yeah, that's a good call. Make sure you have your bucket underneath of your funnel too. Okay. Okay, I see some oil starting to come out. Got it. I'll just set that right there. I'll slide that right there. And look at that. Isn't that nice? Just goes right into the bucket. And we'll just wait here for a little bit until all the oil comes out of there. A few moments later. So uh, we got all of our uh, oil in the new filter for about $100. If you can find a place to change your oil, uh, most dealerships, uh, car dealerships, will not. Uh, we do have a local guy uh, that we usually take all of our cars to, and he is very reasonably priced with our oil changes. Um, it was still going to be over $200. So I could only imagine what it would cost if you found a dealership to change your oil. I would imagine closer to $400 for an oil change and uh, if you drive quite a bit you'd need uh, two to three of these a year so that could get kind of pricey so you could do it yourself for about a hundred bucks oh the trickles getting low now almost there no 10 minute oil change when you got two gallons of oil <laughs> well it's been um four minutes and 41 seconds at this point yeah. oh i hear the moo cow mm, oh here's macy 
Hey. Uh, hi there, princess. Uh, uh, get back, get back. <laughs> Come here, lay down. Oh no. Lay down. Okay, I'm gonna just slide this uh, plug back in the hole here before I move everything. Oh. Macy. <laughs> Good girl, lay down. There we go. Oh, Paige is out here too. Oh my goodness. Look, we got the whole crew under the RV. Oh, I guess you can't see them, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna finger tighten this and then I'll move the funnel and my little contraption away to finish tightening it up. There we go. Okay, oh, uh, moo cow. Moo cow. Paige, get Mo Macy, please. Okay, I move the filter and my little uh, contraption away. And I'm just going to tighten this snug. You don't want to tighten this super tight. You can strip out the threads and that would be a bad day. So just, just snug. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my filter and set it down in my bucket and move my little contraption over. Over here to where the filter is. And we're going to take this filter off and put on a new one. So there's going to be oil in this filter and it's going to drip down when you start to loosen it because this, this whole filter is filled up with oil. So I'm going to use my little guy here. Hopefully I can get it. There it goes. No, it just got some grime on it, so it's kind of slippery. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Okay, see what up. Paige, could you please go get some paper towels? Ew! Yep, we got some drippage. Is it black? Yep, that's used motor oil. And it'll drip a little bit. And you just unscrew it. Oh, jeez. Oh! <laughs> oh no! It slipped right out of my hands. That's no big deal. We'll let that drip for a little bit. Okay, now we're ready for the new filter. Here's the new filter, and one thing you gotta make sure is this gasket comes off the old filter. Sometimes they will stick up on the uh, up on the engine where the pump is. They'll, they'll stick up on the engine. If you have both of these together, it won't ever seal. So make sure the old one follows the old filter. So now we're just going to fill up the new filter with a little bit of new oil. Just like that. There we go. I'll put the lid back on there. I'm gonna take some of this new oil, put it on our finger, and wet this ring right here before we install it. Clean my hands up. I should probably really be doing this with gloves on. Now we put this filter here. Does it have to be a specific color? No. And it's just hand tight. Alright, now we're going up top. We're at the front. We gotta put some oil in. Come on in here a little closer. I want to show you something. Here's where you gotta put your oil in. There's not a whole lot of room. That's why we got that fancy hose right here. So you can put this hose all the way down in there and turn it on and put your oil in. This is not the oil dipstick. It says right on it, trans. The oil's clear on the other side. So I'm gonna do this first one here. I'm gonna take off the cap. Oops. There we go. We got this thing oil. 
unscrew it. Screw this bad boy on here. Nice and tight. I'm gonna make sure it's off. I'm gonna leave the cap on while I do it. It's off. Okay. I'm gonna take this off of here. Just put it right down in there. Turn it up. And the oil's going in. Several bad puns later. Okay, that was all seven. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Just like that. I'm gonna come over here and pull this dipstick, which is probably the longest dipstick I've ever seen in my life, out of here. Holy smokes! <laughs> We're gonna wipe it clean and then put it back in to check the oil. Push it all the way down, pull it back out. Right there, it's right at the top, right where it should be. So now I'm gonna take a peek underneath the RV Make sure there's no oil leaking from the plug or from the filter. And then we're gonna start it, let it run for about 10 minutes. And while it's running for that 10 minutes, check for leaks underneath, check the plug and the filter. If there's no leaks, shut it off, you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick peek under here. I don't see any drips. I don't see anything leaking. So I'm going to climb inside, start the engine, and check again for leaks. So this gauge right here, with the little like, looks like a genie, dripping oil I guess, that's your oil pressure gauge. When you start the motor, that should be somewhere in the middle. You don't want it low and you don't want it high, and it should be right in the middle. So let's see how we do here. Oh, there it goes right there in the middle and we're gonna let it run for about 10 minutes and we're gonna check underneath see if anything's leaking now that it's under pressure all right and the nice thing about using like cardboard or something underneath you can see any drips right away I don't see anything dripping I think we're pretty good We'll wait about 10 minutes, let the oil pump around in there, shut it off, and we'll check the oil levels again. What are you doing, Brian? I uh, was just making sure we didn't have any leaks and looking at this big bucket of oil we got to take into Advanced Auto or a proper disposal place. Yeah, but not a big deal. They'll take it. Uh, most of the time, if you buy the oil from them, they'll take the old oil for free. If not, it's not that expensive like 10 bucks or something um, the guy that we take our our cars to do our oil changes all the time he's a local mechanic he said he'll take it for free they have a recycling program um, most of this synthetic oil doesn't necessarily go bad it it doesn't this it doesn't experience the viscosity breakdown like the old petroleum based oils it just gets dirty so they're able to reclean this um, put it back out and it can it could be recycled and reused ran for about 10 minutes the engines warm We're gonna check the dipstick again Make sure we're still full. This will be a good indicator if you've had any leaks. We didn't see any we checked it several times while it was running I'm gonna pull this all the way out Wipe it all off put it back in All the way back in, get in there. All the way in, pull it all the way back out. And our oil level is right there. You could hardly see it, but it's right there, right in the checkered zone, right where we should be. So we're good to go. I'm gonna put this back in and close up. 
So Brian, how do you know what um, type of oil and filter and all that stuff to Okay, get? so I know that Mastercraft is the OEM provider for Ford. So Mastercraft mo makes most of Ford uh, supplied parts like oil and their oil filters and stuff like that. If you didn't know that, or you don't have your owner's manual, you can look up your VIN number or you can go to any dealership and they should be able to look up what motor you have and they should be able to tell you what speck of oil, uh, what oil filter you would need. Um, and then you could just go to any auto store or get it. Or for us, we get it right on Amazon. We'll link them right below. We have the Ford V10. Most of the uh, Ford Class A's have the V10 unless they're uh, 2021 or newer. Uh, the newer ones have the, the Godzilla, which is a V8. I think they take different oil. Um, might be the same weight, different oil filter, that kind of thing. Look it up, get the spec from your manufacturer or go to a local dealership and, and look that up. Um, I wouldn't recommend using anything other than the spec uh, oil and filters um, that they spec out. Um, I don't know, my reasoning is these engineers worked on these things for a long time. They know exactly what they need. I wouldn't go messing with it, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think that's it okay so before you do another oil change what are you gonna do in the meantime um, like are you gonna check it what do you do yeah before any big trip I usually check the transmission fluid and the oil all the fluids you can check um, before any kind of big trip or any kind of trip I just pop open the hood it takes two minutes and and, and check it um, the our RV has a really big gas tank it's like 88 gallons so that's like 600 miles we'll get out of a gas tank. It's also like $400. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We're going to fill it next week. Uh, we're almost on E, so that'll be that'll be a fun video. Yep. But usually I just pop open the hood, pull this thing out while it's filling up, check it real quick, put it back in. Same with the transmission fluid. If you drove it there, your transmission fluid's warm. Pull it out, check it. Make sure it's in that hash zone. If it's in the hash zone, you're good to go track your mileage you get about 5,000 miles just do a quick oil change not a big deal um yeah that's that's pretty much it all right that's it we did it done <laughs> the wind is just kicking up it picked up it? again oh my sure goodness did. okay we need some washer fluid windshield washer fluid if we're gonna go down to the ocean we're gonna want to fill that sucker up tell you what anyway that's it we're done i'm shutting up the hood I'm done talking, doing this stuff. We're about to have some crazy adventures, but in the meantime, you guys need to get out and make some memories.